And I realized something. Lil Dicky has been distancing himself from his rap persona because he doesn't need it anymore. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. Now, during our little quarantine and our social distancing, I figured I'd talk about somebody pretty prolific and that has been working on their new TV show called Dave. And I'm sure you know who it is. It's Lil Dicky. Ooh, I'm sorry. David Bird. Excuse me. I have a big bone to pick with Lil Dave. Lil Dave. My issue is, I remember watching Lil Dicky coming up, right? Music, he was killing it. I mean, his freestyles were incredible. I'm sure you guys have seen, you know, many of his freestyles. He just has some of the greatest form I've ever seen from, I mean, let's face it, a guy who doesn't look like he would really be into hip hop, right? I don't really like bringing up race. But I think it's an important topic because I think we've seen enough of this and we've seen it happen enough to where we can kind of point it out. Lil Dicky is white. I don't know if you could tell, but like, like he's, like he's white. Like he's, he's like a, he's a, he's a white dude. He's a, he's a white, he's, a, he's a white guy. He's white. So because of that, I think that there is a perspective here on hip hop that we have to look at when it comes to Lil Dicky and when it comes to the culture as a whole. So to get started, once again, Lil Dicky is an incredible artist. I've seen his stuff. You've seen his stuff. We've seen him on The Five Fingers of Death. We've seen him on different songs like his, the albums that he came out with. We have listened to him time and time again and he was blowing up. And then suddenly he disappeared, just left. Right? No hip hop from him, no album, no song. We haven't heard much from him. And I can tell you why. In an interview, he actually spoke to, to several people, telling people that he's been trying to get a TV show off the ground for a long, long time. This TV show was supposed to be his, his baby, his, you know, all the art that he's created culminates to this moment, this TV show that he's been working to get off the ground. And it's fantastic. I love it. I, I love the fact that he used his platform to get that far and he proved to people that he has the ability to create, to innovate, and to rely on his own genius to make something great. But I have just one problem with the way he went about it. In an, in an interview I think he did on one of the late night shows, uh, he actually was uh, came on stage and he was like, uh, yeah, you know, my name's David. Dave, Dave. My name's Dave Bird. You know, we know you as Lil Dicky, but now you're Dave Bird, which is your real name, and yeah. it's, it's difficult for us. I think it's better to, <laughs> just when people greet me, just see Dave, like Lil yeah. Dicky is just an aggressive way to speak to somebody. Why are you sudden, suddenly switching up your persona? Why do that? And, and I kept watching different interviews and shows, and I started realizing even on the tagline, some of these late night shows would put David Bird, not Lil Dicky. And I realized something. Lil Dicky has been distancing himself from his rap persona because he doesn't need it anymore. I know a lot of you are probably looking at me like, okay, well, what does this mean? I mean, he's grown, he's evolved, he's changed. Yeah, sure. But even Jay-Z, right? This guy went from being a hustler in New York to being a billionaire, okay? One of the first hip hop moguls billionaires to exist in our day and age and his name is still Jay-Z he never changed his name he didn't suddenly shed Jay-Z because now he's rich and powerful and got where he wanted to be and he's like oh that hip-hop persona no get that off me I don't want that on me no call me by my real name no he didn't do that right I mean you can name Master P. Master P went from a professional basketball player to a hip hop mogul to now he's rich. He's a rich, he's super rich. And people still call him Master P because that's his hip hop persona and that is who he is. I can name dozens of people who've been in the culture of hip hop, did things differently, changed a little bit, and they still kept their hip hop names. The point I'm making is Lil Dicky, along with many other people who happen to be Caucasian, I've seen this done with. Miley Cyrus is probably the greatest example. How she was 
trying to find herself and got into the hip hop game and started twerking and started doing all this cool, cool stuff. And then as soon as she got back with her boyfriend, suddenly hip hop was beneath her. She doesn't need it. It's not her thing. I'm tired of seeing white people using hip hop like this just as a stepping stone to get higher and to go further into their career. Using our culture, using what we've built, stepping on it and going over it and saying things like, don't call me Lil Dicky anymore. That's not my name. I'm tired of hearing people say it. Like, what? You created the persona. We were happy to listen to your music. We promoted you. We gave you the platform. And then you just toss it away because now you're a TV director? Lil Dicky yeah. is just an aggressive way to speak to somebody. Aggressive way to speak to somebody. Let me give you guys a, a very, very direct parallel. Childish Gambino or Donald Glover. Donald Glover went from being a writer to being an actor writer, to being an actor writer comedy person, to being an actor writer comedy person singer, actor writer comedy person singer director, now owns his own TV show. And guess what? He still goes by Childish Gambino. Why? Because he doesn't disrespect where he came from. He knows what got him to where he is. He knows that his persona from hip hop and his professional persona all combined to make him who he is. And he was still able to direct, create, and be one of the greatest hip hop director TV show guys making a show like Atlanta that won an Emmy. I'm disappointed in Lil Dicky because he literally shed the, the skin of hip hop off of himself just so he can blend in with who? With what? Why do that? Why suddenly say, I don't want that persona. I don't want to be that person anymore. Do you understand that when he does that, he's literally taking off the skin that made him him? The name Lil Dicky he created, but we adopted it. That's what we decided to call him. Now, once again, I'm not mad at the name change, right? Because Lil, I mean, look, Lil Dicky's not the first guy to change his name back to, I mean, like, look at Sean Diddy Combs or Puffy or Puff Daddy or P, P Diddy, whatever. Look at him. He's changed his name a bunch of times too, but that's not the same. You know why? Because P Diddy still respects the fact that he came from Puff, Puffy, Puff Daddy. Puff Diddy, Diddy, Puffy, do that, whatever. He respects every one of those names. But Lil Dicky goes on and says, I'm, I don't like people calling me that anymore. And at certain points, did you regret taking on that name and maybe just wanted no, to keep your- No, uh, I feel like it's so bad and good at the same, it's almost like my cross to bear like that name. You know I see, I mean? yeah. I see, it's your yeah. penance for yeah. succeeding. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. I mean, someone can take this video and go deeper than I can right now, but I mean, just listening to the way it almost sounded like he was been, it almost sounded like he, he was upset at the fact that he even had to do that just to get to where he was, just to show people how talented he was. I'm upset when people do that because I really love hip hop. I love the genre. I know where it came from. I understand the history and to see people like him use it in the way that he's used it and then just He's done with it, right? Just over, done, I don't need it, whatever. Get that thing away from me. I just wish that people like Lil Dicky had more respect for the, for the culture, more respect for hip hop. Instead of sitting here acting like you used your persona just to get to where you are, ugh, Lil Dicky, I don't wanna use that. I don't wanna hear that anymore. You should embrace it. You should, you should want people to call you Lil Dicky. That's where you came from. That's, that's who you are. You are Lil Dicky. You can't, you, can't, you can't just brush that off. That's not how it works. And so the fact that now he has his TV show on FX called Dave, I mean, it seems funny, I'm sure it's good, but he really just went through the process of some type of false metamorphosis by shedding off the hip hop persona and getting into now his directorial and actor role. And now he doesn't need hip hop anymore. He doesn't need all that because he made the money he needed. <laughs> he got the connections he needed. He, he got everything. Hip hop is now an unnecessary tool for him. He doesn't, he doesn't need it. And, and once again, I'm not mad at his evolution. I'm just upset at the way he evolved. I'm upset that he used hip hop the way he did to get to where he is now. And I, I think that this needs to be talked about more. I don't know why I'm the only person talking about this. I feel like I, nobody else is making a discussion about what he did. <laughs> it's weird. I'm sending this to all of the hip hop people, music people. I'm sending this to Genius. I'm sending this to The Needle Drop. I'm sending this to Sean C. 
I'm sending this to all the music people because I feel like this is something we as a culture need to talk about. It is, it's not like we don't live in a country where you can't do whatever you want, but this is a conversation we need to have. This is something that needs to be brought up because we need to make and give an understanding that that doing that is wrong. I mean, it's it's not like you're going to jail for it, right? He's not going to get arrested for doing that. But it's it's grimy. It's it's not it's not right. Now imagine Lil Nas X, the way he did his country fusion hip hop thing, right? Now imagine one day he just just drops the country persona and now he's sagging his pants, wears the grill and got the chains and some dreads. The country community would be like, what? What happened? Well, why would you do that? Oh, so now that you got popular, you got your Grammy, you got your number one hit, now you don't need country anymore. They would be upset. Their culture would be upset about that. So the same way they would be upset, I'm upset because our culture has built American culture, right? The colors, the clothes, the hair, the, the songs, the music, everything. So for him to just, I don't like it. I don't like it. Sue me, I don't like it. I think Lil Dicky's a great artist, but I think what he did was low down, dirty, not right. Anyway guys, let's have a conversation about this. Comment below, tell me what you think. Is he right, is he wrong, Is do you not care? Whatever, let me know. Anyway, I appreciate all of you listening to my little rant. I th thank you so much. If you reach to this part of the video, I'll ask again if you could subscribe, hit the like button, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of things going on right now and we're all at home. Uh, so, I mean, just watch my content. Watch it, hit the bell button, notify yourself that I'm coming on every day at this point, okay? Until the foreseeable future. So I'm trying to give you guys content. Support me, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. I hope you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.